we decided to call it began with the golden E at the end. That golden E symbolizes how high hands and how important is E-Tech, our electric and hybrid technology for us. We thought that after 122 years of hard work, many ups and downs, we should be proud of our history. And even when we project the company into the future, as we do, we create, we invent, but we stay true to ourselves. That's the simple idea behind this simple decision. I remember 25 years ago, during my first time at uh, Renault, we launched the first generation of Megane. It was a huge success. It was not only one model, but a family of cars, a hatch, a sedan, an MPV called Scenic, an estate, a coupe, and a cabrio. It was a very revolutionary concept at that moment. We've sold 7 million units in over 40 countries since then. It is our third most sold nameplate so far. At about the same time, legendary leaders like Louis Schweitzer, Patrick Lequemont, Gérard de Tourbet, just to name a few, launched the Dacia Logan, the most affordable combustion engine car in the world. With those two products, Renault was able to recover from a very deep crisis and started the process of internationalization that made this company together with the Alliance, a true global player. A well-known saying goes, history is just a long repetition of events. We certainly hope it is true. Now, allow me a few minutes of, let's call it upselling. I liked when uh, Lawrence van den Acke, who designed it, told me that the diamond shape and stripe were inspired from our beautiful 1972 logo designed by Vasarelli. This is another tribute to our history. Thanks to our brand new Alliance platform that we call CMFEV, we broke the rules of size, use, design, and energy efficiency. From the outside, its large wheels and marked body height give it a dynamic and progressive proportions. We fully leverage the potential of pure electric platform, wheels on the corner, short bonnet. We reinvented the classical hatchback in an emotional way. Megane, with the E, is only 4.21 long, that's about 15 centimeters shorter than traditional hatchbacks, but it offers a similar roominess inside, similar to the one of the competitors. It is a masterpiece of packaging, better than any other competitor I have seen so far. So you look at the beauty of the 3D lighting. This is a new signature. They are just saying, I'm looking ahead. This is a technology that will make future Renaults recognizable from 100 meters. It's also a powerful and fun car to drive, because at Renault, we believe electric cars should be sold on emotions. With 160 kilowatt, equivalent to about 220 horsepower, the engine is one of the most powerful in the Renault range. It's sporty, but it's also efficient. You will see impressive figures when we will announce the performance at the launch of the car. I promise you. It's 60 kilowatt battery. It's 11 centimeters high. That's the flattest there is in the market. It allowed us to give a sporty look and 
uh, achieve very competitive aerodynamics uh, performance, which, as you know, uh, are key uh, in electric cars to improve uh, uh, autonomy. It offers 450 kilometer range WLTP with potential to go higher in the future on the same uh, platform. With our fast charging mode, you can charge back 200 kilometers within 30 minutes. This is enough to get going on a long trip after a well-deserved coffee break. But, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, like with the first generation of Megane, Megane, with its E at the end, is just the beginning. A whole family of vehicles will be based on our new CMF EV platform. To date, more than 300 patents have been already filed on that car. The car looks very futuristic, but it is 95% of what the production car will look like. And you will see them soon. Our plants will start producing them here in France by the end of next year.